is Susanna Beasley and I am taking a video camera of our old house on 11644 South 700 East because we are moving and I want the memories of this house to remember. Um, today is November the 10th, 1996. So come follow me and we'll take a tour. Okay, this is what our house looks like from across the street. Um, these are the trees that my parents planted when we first moved in. Here. There's the glint. Okay, my parents planted these trees when they were just babies and now they have grown to be really tall. And here is the Beasley's pet graveyard. We've had many cats, a bird and a dog that are buried here. And we want to remember this spot so that we can remember them. <laughs> okay, here is our yard and we take great pride in keeping care of our yard. As you can tell, we have been cleaning and working on it so that it will look nice. And it does. Now we'll walk around to the back of the yard and that big tree with the ladder, my parents have put a rope swing up there so we could have a swing like my grandparents in their invernal, like in their yard. Okay, oh. here is Zane and he's swinging off our swing and we have lots of fun. Okay. Okay, now I'm coming around to the front porch. Um, we don't use this that much because it's back here and we're usually in the backyard doing stuff, but we have picnics back here sometimes. Here is the back porch. We, as you can tell, we have, there's Sammy. We, can, we have the barbecue and the doghouse and the bikes and the cars. There's the basketball hoop and our beautiful assortment of cars. We thought we had the station wagon sold, but unfortunately, the person backed out on the deal, so we still have it. This is our dog, Sammy. She is um, an Alaskan Malamute mix with a, um, a German Shepherd. She doesn't do much. Usually she's just eating or sleeping. Here is Leopard, our old, old cat. He has been with us for quite some years. And one of these days he's going to pass away. But we really enjoy him. Again, here is part of the backyard. And this is all part of it too. This is the garden, which I will get a better picture of. Okay, here's our garden. Looks quite dead and ugly now, but in the summertime, it really looks good. My mom keeps good track of it, good care of it, by planting and weeding it. We've worked hard in the garden a lot, and we're, we've been glad that we've had it because we have gotten salsa and a lot of other yummy things out of it. Here is the hut and we spent many good times in there. I, I had lots of sleepovers with my friends and parties up in that hut. Um, underneath it is the sandbox and when I was little, me and Will, we used to dig trenches in that. But as you can tell now, um, not many people play in it. We're storing our pine needles in there for right now. Here's the swing set that we've had for many years. I can remember once I fell out of the swing and landed in the raspberry patch. Um, yeah, we've had good experiences on it and we've always had a fun time on that. There is the the shed and we keep all our gardening tools in there. 
And there's a little other shed that we have, and that's been Zane's play hut. But now it's used for storage also. Um, this is a backyard. We have lots of trees. Well, we have two trees, two pine trees back here, which are very big. And this is just the lawn. This is the horse pasture and the cow pasture when we used to have cows, but now we rent it out and have horses in it. The Glynn's house is the far one down at the very end. And then we have some other people's house. We never know quite who lives there because they're always moving in and out. And this is just the back of our yard. And as you can tell, we have a fire burning. We've been working on the yard and have burned all the trash and the weeds. We have a little path that leads up to the front yard. The front yard, though, I think has always been a favorite because the lawn is so big and green. We could always play on it, and we've played base soccer and kick the can with the neighbors a lot on a lot on here, and it's it's been real fun. And we're gonna miss this house, but we're gonna have a lot of fun in our other one too. So there she is. And he's raking leaves. He likes to keep the yard in the lane looking really nice, so he's always out working here. And he does a good job at that. Here are the Glens that are going down the lane. That's Holly. She's one of my good friends. Okay, now we're entering the house. We had a sign made that says Beasley's Bunk House. Because we're always having lots of people come stay with us. And now we'll go in and Take a tour of the inside. Here we go. Okay, we're entering the house and we have here the bird cage and the bird. And we have some plates on the wall that my parents have collected from different places and trips that they have gone on. We're just about ready to sit down and eat dinner, so Rebecca has set a lovely table for us. Um, we have over here my mom and Rebecca, and they're fixing dinner for us. Hi, Susie. And they do a good job. They do way good. We're doing yep. a good job so Susie and Zane can uh, clean up. Yep. Uh, I think it's going to be Mariah. Yeah, Dad was sleeping. Yeah. Okay. Well, come into the kitchen. This is our kitchen. Over here, we have the sink and the dishwasher, which Dad doesn't like the smell of. Um, we have the oven and the fridge that's On broken down. <laughs> and we've cooked many a good meals here on, on this the counter. counter. And played many a good. Good, good games. games and art projects and meals over at that little table. Mm -hmm. Of all the of all the gifts that we've ever bought our children, the table was by far the most used. So yep. this is it. Okay. Here's some and more. And the grandfather, grandfather. This is a, oh, this is a picture of the cabin that we like to look at and pretend that we've gone to the cabin, and we like this hanging. And this is a grandfather clock that Grandma and Grandpa Beasley gave to us so that we can keep track of our lives. Me. Here's our fish, Moby, that we have adopted from the Allens. Mark went on a mission, so we decided that we would take him and make him part of our family. Here's the living room with our couches that we bought from Granite Furniture. Oh, R.C. Willie. They're one of the nice comforts of our house. And there's one of the prized possessions by my mom. I don't know about how much Zane and Mariah like it, though. And that's the piano. 
all of us have taken piano and some of us have taken longer than others and some of us enjoy it more than others but we are all grateful that we have had the experience of taking piano lessons and around here is the lamp and some magazines and my dad always likes to sit in the couch and read the newspaper by that lamp and here's the TV that many of us we like watching and some the books that my parents have collected over the years and the recorder that my mom has oh my God. we're walking into Wait a minute. Oh. my mom's room and there are some pictures of the family and I'll let my mom hear tell you okay, about it. Okay, these, these are my all-time favorite pictures of the family. I've, uh, we've had pictures taken before, but these are such great pictures of what life used to be like that we've kept them on our wall and probably always will have them on our wall. Now, on the other wall, according to Bill, are the only good pictures that have ever been taken by, by our camera. One was, this one was taken by a stranger. This one was taken by Dad. This one was taken by Grandpa. And this one was taken by, I think this one was taken by Grandpa, too. So these two are the only two good ones, according to him, that we've ever taken. And these are of the cabin, our favorite place to vacation. Now, you can see the little love nest here. This used to, when we first moved into this room, this was actually two bedrooms. This, there was a wall right here that came across here, and back in here where our closets were, were t was another little bedroom. And this was a, like a closet here with a little tiny door that went in back into this little tiny bedroom. But when we remodeled the house, we made this into our closets and extended this bedroom so this could be the master bedroom. Okay, oh. this piece of furniture my mom made. No, 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 no. This piece of furniture was Grandma Hacking's, mm. uh, was given to her when she was 17 years old. This is a cedar chest. And when I was about 17 years old, she gave it to me. And I'm going to give it to one of my daughters when they leave the house or when they get older, when sometime when I don't need it anymore but it keeps all of our good keepsakes. Now, I don't know if Susie showed you our fish collection here, but these fish, this is the fish that Susie made. This fish is a book fish that Will made. And then this is a fish that, that Bill bought, and then these two are ones that I bought. So we've got all sorts of collections in this house. Okay, next we're going into the bathroom. And this is a the family community bathroom. You can find us all in here on Sunday getting ready for church. Right here we have the toilet and it's in a little stall like being in a bar and some people find that kind of funny. Okay here's the bathtub and what we all take baths in. There's the cupboard that we keep all of our our supplies in. The sinks. And then the mirror. Let's wave. Hi. And this is our lovely bathroom. Now we're going into Zane's room and Will's old room. Okay, well, there's my counter with all my junk on it. Which is usually a mess. Yeah, but now it's clean because it, we just had Friday. There's my closets. Down there's a mess. Over there's all my collectibles with Will's bottle collection. There's a game. There's bunk beds. All our scouting stuff is on the wall. There's my poster. 
There's Will's radio with all the speakers next to it. There's the dresser. There's my closet. There used to be Will's closet, but now they move. So, and then here's our junk closet with all our junk in it. Now we'll head down the steps into the basement where me, Mariah, Rebecca, and the boogeyman live. Here is a little hallway. Usually it's cleaner than this, but since we're moving, we have packed a lot of our stuff and put it in here. Here are the pictures of the family, each person. Don't I look beautiful? Zane. Mariah. And Rebecca. This is a lovely place for the whole family. My dad especially likes this room. And it's the laundry room. As you can tell, we have a lot of dirty clothes. But my mom usually does a pretty good job of keeping up with the laundry. Okay, now we're coming down the hall to my room which is there, to the bathroom, to the storage room. Okay, here's the, lo the storage room with our freezer and the wrapping paper stuff. We keep all our bottled fruit and all our packaged goods that we're keeping for storage. We probably don't have a two-year supply, but we do pretty good. Over here is the book cupboard. Over here is the worker dad again. And over his dad again. <laughs> He's working hard. And his tools are kept here too. Now we'll go into the downstairs bathroom. We share this with Mari and Rebecca. And Zane takes showers down here too. There's the sink. And the mirror again. Hi. And the toilet. And the shower that I've cleaned many a times. Will also. But we keep it in good shape. We like fish, so we had a tile mural made in our shower. Now into, now into my room. The best of them all. We have over here, my picture of beautiful men, that which they are. And we have my counter, and just my little keepsakes and collectibles are on them and the shells. I've been collecting precious moments, and those are them from over the years. And there's a sign and, and some flowers that I've gotten and dried. And my bear. And the radio that my parents bought me for Christmas. And this furniture that I am showing you is was originally my mom's. But when my grandparents had the fire in their house, it got all burnt. And so... We refin refinished it, and now it's in my room. Um, here's my dresser. And as you can tell, I have many pictures on that of people that are important in my life. And here's so many of my things from Young Women's. And there is a mask that I made in sixth grade. I thought I did a pretty good job on it. So I kept it and hung it up in my room. Here's my closet with all my clothes. And also just more of my collectibles and stuff that I keep, keep in here. It's my big collection of CDs. And some books.
I will head back into the living room. Here is another one of my mom's prized possessions, the piano. And we played a lot on this one. She had this one before she was married. There's a picture of the family and there's a picture of the Beasley family. I'm sure there's a few more people in it now than it, there was then. My parents got this clock in Germany. And we we have maps of Utah of Utah and so that when we go on a trip that we can look at where we have been. And here's a, ca a chair from my grandparents that my mom had refurnished. And there's a bike that we use for exercise. A picture of the cabin. And here some more of our couches and also we bought a new piece of exercise equipment this running machine and we use that quite often there's a map of the United States we also use when to look when see where we're going we've got our TV and our VCR here the bigger one hasn't worked for quite some time so we gotten the littler one. Here's a map of the whole world and when my parents go on trips they'll come back and show us where they have been. Um, here's our computer area and our study area kind of. We've always enjoyed having a computer. It makes schoolwork a lot easier. Okay, now we're going into Mariah and Rebecca's room, and Rebecca will tell us about their room. Okay, this is mine and Mariah's bed we share, and that's where she reads with at night over here. And she has Goosebook books she puts here, and she likes them. She likes scary books and mysteries. And over here is the counter. She mostly gets, there's her clock and her CD player and the player and the speakers. And here's her stuff that she liked. And there's my Barbie house. And here's our dresser. And one time my mom and dad went to Hawaii with my dad's brother and sisters, or my mom's, I don't know, actually. And we got those, and we got a Hawaiian suit, too. And there's is some of our dolls. Some of them are mine, and some of them are hers. And there's our couch. That Rebecca sleeps on when I kick her out of her bed. Yeah, and then here's our drawers, boring. And there's our garbage can. Next. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's the end of our tour and the end of looking at our house and the outside. And we hope that you enjoyed it and we hope that we can always keep the memories.